Hey guys, Michelle here, and I want to show you today how to make a simple capture page using a plugin called Optimize Press. Now, if you have gone through some of uh, my blogging course on how to buy the domain and how to install WordPress, you should be good to go. But the next thing you're going to have to do is actually buy a plugin called Optimize Press. And I have provided a link below this video on that. But once you buy that, you're going to get a downloaded file, and you want to keep that file in the zip formation so don't unzip it keep it zipped because when you upload it to your WordPress blog you're gonna have to um, have that file zipped in order for WordPress to be able to um, install that so here I am in the back office of my blog that actually has um, WordPress installed on it so what that's gonna be is whatever your domain is this particular one is global resorts network online you're gonna do forward slash WP dash admin and then you're going to end up coming to, let me go ahead and log out of this. You're going to end up coming to your page like this. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. And then the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to come over to something on the left here called plugins. And you're going to click on install, no, add a new plugin. And once you click on that, you're going to get an option here that says search, upload, featured. But you need to pick this upload button because you're going to upload that uh, plugin that Optimize Press gave you when you purchased it to your back office of your website. So all you're simply going to do is come into here, choose your file, and then you're going to need to find wherever you saved it. So if I happen to save it in my download, downloads file, I would just come over here and come down to, let me put it in alphabetical order here, I would come down to wherever I saved it, which is Optimize Press, and here's the zip file right here. So I would just you know, just double click on that and what's going to happen is it's going to show up here and you're going to click install now. And WordPress is going to go ahead and start unpackaging it. And then from there, once that happens and you activate it, you're going to have to actually come in to your appearance here on the left and go to themes. And underneath themes is you're going to see whether Optimize Press has been activated or not. If it has not, you're just going to come down in here where all your installed themes for um, are, are being kept and click activate. But you might have possibly went ahead and activated it when it was starting to install it. But either way, you know this is your current theme if it says Optimize Press. So what Optimize Press does is it creates an easy way for you to create capture pages. And um, I'm going to show you some examples of that. So where you're going to work is over here, let's just say that we're going to go ahead and create a new page, which is going to be a capture page that I'm going to use for Global Resorts. So I just simply come over here and I click Add a New Page. Well, what's going to happen is, is it's going to open up a new box here, or a new window, and it's going to be blank, okay? There's not going to be anything in here. But if you pull down your screen right here, you're going to see that you have squeeze page options. That's the actual capture page where you're going to have an opt-in form. You've got other options here like a sales letter. This could be another page that you create that you're actually going to put a sales page on after somebody opts in. But right now, all we're doing in this very first step is creating a capture page. So you have several options here. As you notice on the right here, you're going to have to pick a template. Now, Optimize Press also is a membership site, but you're not going to use these right now because all we're doing in this actual video is creating a squeeze page. So as you can see, there are 12 templates for a squeeze page or capture page. Now, you may not know what these are right now, so all you have to do is come up here and click on View the temp Template Gallery. which that actually didn't open up for some reason. Hopefully for you guys it'll open up. It didn't open up for me unless there might be a problem going on, but if you're in here you can view the template gallery. Um, I can tell you if it's not working for some reason just go to the optimized uh, web, the optimized site and just search you know their templates. Um, but all you're going to do is you're going to come in here and pick a template. I know because I've built a lot of capture pages using this, I end up choosing um, usually squeeze page three with no header. The header just means you would have some sort of blog header, but I like to keep it clean and simple. Now you need to make sure that you are in the squeeze page options here. So you're going to have to, there's a little cross that will come across here. Just click on that. And all you're simply going to do is go down through these options to set up your page. Now if you're new at this, 
you kind of want to play with this because what you can do is you can always add something in and if you don't and you can preview it if you don't like it you can come back and delete it so let me go over to a page that I've already done to show you some options here all right so let's go look at see if this is one here all right so here is a simple capture page right here that I had ran um, you know for a USA Today ad it's an opt-in box where somebody can enter their email it's very simple I have a headline here a picture and somebody is going to actually give me their email address and when they put that in there it's going to be it's going to take them over to a sales page so all I simply did on that let's actually look at that one so if you remember just a second ago we created a page don't do a post you're going to create a page and you need to add, make a title for it now that title is going to show up after your domain so mine happens to be global resorts network online forward slash work from home is going to be my URL now what I did here is I just went ahead and put a headline in here and a picture in this box here and then I came down to there's a section down here at the bottom here called autoresponder code and what I did was is I added my AWeber autoresponder code that AWeber gave me when I made a form and that form was that one where you saw the actual enter your email address so what you're gonna have to do is if you're using AWeber you're gonna need to go into AWeber and if you're not using AWeber but maybe using GetResponse, you can do the same thing. Um, I don't have a GetResponse account, so I can't show you that. But if you know how to create a form and GetResponse, then you're going to be able to do the same thing. But all I did here was is I made sure I was in the right list that I had created for Global Resorts, which is GRN Global for me. And then I came over here to Web Forms over here on the right. And I have several actually created, but what I did is I clicked on this Create a New Web Form, and what happened was is it brought up this page and I was able to pick a template and you know put in the necessary information that I needed here went over to settings just made sure that that form was directed to the sales page that I'm going to be creating so you would click on thank you page you would make sure you click on custom URL so you need to enter in your sales page so you're gonna if you're gonna create a sales page inside optimize press you're gonna need to know that URL too and that URL can simply be picked up when you create your sales page right here. Now this one is not a sales page, this is my landing page, but let's just say this were my sales page with whatever offer I'm giving when somebody opts in. I would take that URL and I would plug it in here because what you're wanting to do is when somebody fills out that form on your page, you need to direct them to the page you want them to go to to be able to view whatever it is you're offering. So that takes care of that. You want to make sure that's done. You want to do the same thing in this um, page right here where it says already subscribed. So that means if somebody opts in but they've already subscribed, you're going to be able to still send them to that sales page. So all you do from there is you click save the form and you're going to get brought to this publish. And what happens here is it's going to give you an option to install your AWeber form. So if you click install, you want to grab not the JavaScript, but the raw HTML code right here. It's a very long code, so you want to copy that, come back over to the capture page you're building, go down to the autoresponder option, which is right here, opt-in autoresponder code, and just paste that right there. Okay, now AWeber has a lot, or not AWeber, but Optimized Press has a lot of video tutorials on um, their site that you can actually go through to learn more advanced options in here, but I'm just kind of showing you the basics right now. Um, you can also come in here and say you want to select an image so when somebody clicks on that submit now button you know you can click a particular button that you actually want below where they're going to enter their name and email so maybe they're going to download something you can click that or maybe you're showing them the videos click on that you know maybe get on your list or get access now you have options there so that ends up showing let me show you what that looked like See, I, I said send me the video. So when what happens is, is when somebody actually opts in here and they I ask for you know to see the videos, it's going to be taken to a sales page. So notice that this URL up here is what I entered in in that section of AWeber that I just showed you on where I wanted this person to go after they opted in. So this page right here 
is something I also created right here inside of Optimize Press. Okay, but this time I didn't use the squeeze page, op squeeze page option. I used a sales letter option because that's what that is. It's more of a sales letter and it gives you some different templates for that. But let me show you a few other pages that I actually have here. All right, so let's see what this one is. Okay, so here is a um, opt-in, I mean a, a capture page here, or squeeze page. Notice it says serious entrepreneurs only. I have a headline. You can actually put a video here if you wanted, but I put a picture. Um, again, name, email. I connected an autoresponder form out of Aweber to this, and I put a different button, get access now. So all that simply is, is if we were to go in here and edit this, I'm going to show you a few more options because notice that the only thing now I have in this box here is just a picture because what I did was if you click on squeeze page option, I went down to an option called pre-headline. All right, that's this. Let me go back to that. Let's see. All right, this is the pre-headline, serious entrepreneurs only. That's what I actually put in this section that said pre-headline. You can change the color, the font. Again, you just kind of have to play with this. And once you get the hang of it, it's not going to take you that long. Then I had the headline, discover how the stay-at-home mom of two built a six-figure business. That's this area right here. All I did was type that in there. I picked a color, I picked a font, I picked the size. And a lot of times you can just guess the size and just come over here and click. I don't have that option right now, but it would be save as a draft. And then you can just open up. There'll be a preview button up here and you can just open it up and take a look if you like it. If you don't like it, you know, just come back to this page and make the font smaller. So that's what the headline means. Then you've got a subheadline. I actually don't have a subheadline here, but you can add, and the subheadline would drop below this picture. Sometimes you'll see capture pages that have bullet points. That's the same thing. Um, let's see, video settings. If you decide to add a video, you would just simply click on this box and put your video URL in here. So say you have it hosted over at, um, um, at let's see, what's the image? If you have it hosted right here on YouTube, you're going to have to enter a code here from YouTube so that video will start playing. I don't have a video on here, so I'm not going to worry about that. And this right here, opt-in customization. You notice how I have these hand-drawn arrows up here at the top, the red ones? That's what that is, but you have other options. You can go with an animated red arrow, static red arrow, black sketch arrow, but it's up to you. Just look at the different options and decide if that's what you like. And then the, the opt-in box, you know, fill out your information here to gain access. Well, that's what I typed right here. That's what I wanted the headline to say. And then down here, we talked about the code already. And that's pretty much it for creating a capture page that you need to know. Um, but again, you know, I suggest that if you're not sure about some of these options, I mean, go to the Optimize Press um, website. If you click on, you'll be able to see the plugin down there at the bottom. But if you just come over here to your Optimize Press, it you know you can go over to their main website to actually get some training. Here we go, training and support dashboard. And once you log in, you're going to find a bunch of videos in there on how to create a capture page or how to create a sales page or maybe you get to an advanced level where you're actually launching a product. You can do that here with Optimize Press also. But that's basically it. That's, this is just a simple, simple plug-in, guys, that you just can use. I'll put the link below this video if you guys want to add this into any WordPress blog that you have. Just know that if you use this plugin and you activate this on another blog or, or site that you're using WordPress on, it's going to become your theme. So for me, I actually bought a whole separate domain just to run optimized press on for just capture pages that I'm doing with my particular business here at Global Resorts. So if you have any questions, let me know. I hope this video was helpful and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.